feels like deja vu to some of y'all. You were here Saturday. It's, what's it is? It's to be repeated that. Yeah. This Saturday will be a new right, bow. On this, take the sword, you bring the feet together, and bow the sword up and down. It's a little different from what we're doing. Ready? Yep. Yep. And since it is the Korean art of Kundo, we will use the same terminology. If y'all walk over there and turn around with this way. We have a nice turnout tonight, so let's go ahead and stagger the line. Put some morale stepping forward. Good. Okay. Let's go warm up. What's y'all warm up for the last time? Well, I think we'll do a few neck exercises later, but I think we're okay. However, wrist exercise. Now, if you're here in class, Saturday, try 30 today. Otherwise, it's 20 of these. Back and forth. Try 30. You've already done it. We'll lose 30 next time. Okay, 30 with the right arm. Get some power in there. Back and forth. You should build up to 60. And you can do like 100 even. Actually, you can do them until your forearms feel like they're on fire. You need to stop. Get them in. Good. Just watch out. Did anybody hit the rest of the balls tonight? Good. Have a look at their arm. Go. Stay a little higher. There you go. This is an exercise sheet. You know, if you do it daily, that's good. It's like doing push ups. Stretch with the forearms, get you the main blade. Alright, come in the buzz in position now. Place the blade, the weapon right in front of you. And it's good if you fix your gaze on the blade. Okay. Now, karate is incorporating tool usage or weaponry back into your body. Your hand becomes a knife. Just a bludgeon. In kendo, you need to think of swordsmanship. You need to think of the blade as not foreign to you, but as an extension of your body. A European fencing instructor used to say, think of the, think of the saber, the A, or the foil, whichever we're using. Think of the sword. It's a long fingernail. Strange analogy. You don't want to think of things being alien to you, but connected to your body, part of it. Hands folded, and breathe deep. Focus your attention only on the thinking. Thoughts only on the breathing. Let extraneous thinking go. Central fighting stance. 
You start with the right leg forward. Right hand grips the sword right here underneath the supa or the hilt. This is the ready position. You want the sword held right at throat level. Now, we're going to start with offensive movement. Hands come up. Now, I want you to watch something. As we strike, this is not a chopping like an axe, but see how I pull. So we're striking, we're cutting, cutting. Now, surprise, I was cutting some cardboard to throw boxes with the other day. And a lot of times, I'm just getting in a hurry and just kind of rake the knife through, and I just all of a sudden fell on something. You just cut that thing nice. Okay, ready? Let's hit Tim. Again. We're going to check and draw. Pull. Pull. Pull the elbows in close to the body. We're cleaving the head straight down. Good. similar but we're coming up and this time we're hitting in a diagonal and what you're doing is you're cutting from the collarbone to the hip and they used to test samurai swords on bodies of condemned criminals and yes they would cut through the body like that. Ready? And I got Heel is up. Heel is up, Jonathan. Think about the back foot being like a rudder. Uh, essentially, you're standing on one leg with a balance, secondary balancing act. That looking good. All right, and we're going to cut back. Same thing, cutting the other way. Okay, don't think I'll need a demonstration. Okay, just cutting diagonally the other way. Go. Cut and draw, pull the elbows in, drawing, good, that's a nice sound, good, that's where he goes some fast, draw, 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 okay, good, defensive postures, alright, let's get we start from the ready position, Guarding the head. And this is like a chukiamaki block. Notice that you have to cover the head. We want a nice sharp angle. And notice where my elbows are. They are right next to the body. This is for strength. Way out here, the we, further we go, the weaker we are. In close, bam. Okay? And as you come from ready position to here, <clears throat> the advanced karate, see the how we come, we focus in karate, we squeeze the fist. You do the same thing with the blade. Same, but yeah, it's right there. Let's hit about, let's go about 10 blocking over here on the left side. What you're blocking is the strike is coming this way. But we always want to block with the edge of the blade. Okay, that's the strongest part. Ready? And go. That was in closer. Go. Go. Make sure they couldn't catch you. Right, let's go to the other side. Same thing. Ready? Somebody cut in here. And go. Okay. In close. Good. Close in close. Tight.
Good. All right. There are some, there are a few, couple other blocks we're probably going to cover in this class. Let's say we blocked essentially high. Now we're going to block to the side. And that moves from here to ready position. I'm aiming at the throat. So it comes up. And notice it's again blocking to the edge, catching the strike here. And the other side is the same thing. Bam. Okay. Blocking with the edge. And we flip it over and back. You can see why we prefer this method. Why this method is preferred. Okay. Let's guard first our right side. And ten that way. Go. in close. You feel the strength when they're in the close. See why we use this block in just a second. We're going to go from here, defending. Okay. Come on, brother. You get to defend. Ready? Block. Now strike from here. Okay. okay. Once you strike this side on me, ready? Go. Here. Ten on one side, ten on the other. And we're going to be straight slash down. And you could use a diagonal with that too. And you could even use a horizontal cut yourself. It's a little more difficult. And it's not as logical because there's sword down there. This is open. Good. How are we doing? Let's move on. We're going to jump straight into the kata at this point. <coughs> we will do components first. But I'll do the whole kata for you. Practice the uh, Korean martial art of Shim Do Kwan. Okay? 
and it was a combination of judo, karate, and kundo. Kundo is the Korean word for kendo, and the Koreans picked it up during the Japanese occupation of Korea. And so these are essentially Japanese-type techniques, <coughs> and they seem very similar. I learned the actual katana kata from a Japanese kata from Master Gocher. It's the same type. That was after your time. Okay. Seven years ago, probably about eight years ago. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, so it was fairly simple. Let's do some of the components of it first. And move forward just a bit. Salute. Drawing the sword. Now this is where you do become one with the weapon. So very slowly. Entering a meditative state with the sword. When it gets about here, shift the weight to the right foot. As it comes down, time it so the left leg moves back. When we come to rest, as the sword comes to ready, when we step back. The opponent's coming for us. Step in and block. And we're back saying it's throughout the cock. Well, it'll be an X stance in a ready position. Okay. Arm very close. We cut back, we cut, we yell. <laughs> Go to the same block position again, but this time we we'll flip the sword around and strike in the butt in. So the solar plexus. And you look behind you, stab through the body. We come up, we strike, cut. It's like here, now watch, see how the arms go to the way. Notice how the arms pull together. Okay. From the ready position again. Lock all your Taekwondo comments and have three steps forward, three back. And gun be the one that comes to body first. We do that. We block and cut. Block and cut. Block and cut. And forward. Block and cut. Block and cut. Cut, block and cut. Come up. Let's cross deep. Arm is in a little more angle there, so good. Higher, Bradley. Now we go from here. We're cutting. Key eyes here. All the way across, cutting through the midsection. Center line would often cut three or more bodies stacked together. These are swords were powerful enough to do it. <coughs> Coming back, surveying the damage from the ready position. Zanshin, we're making awareness. Back and fall back. Good. Okay, I'll get a quick drink of water. I'm right back.
Bending over, you just need to so flex. You decapitate it. Second key. Come up. And block. Cut. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Now we go forward. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Regarding the hip. There we go. Good. Put away, Bradley. Regarding here, this is someone striking on that side. Okay. Now, at this point, <coughs> the attackers are behind you. you know, you've got this guy, and your first cut, that's the way the eye interprets the bone cut. This guy's here, cut right through his body. Okay. And then his two or three buddies are behind you, and you cut through them too. Ready? You gotta block the first cut. And go cut, yeah. Nice. Now, this is slow. This is what we call zanshin, remaining awareness. You have got to be aware at this point. I know you just cut them, but do they have friends coming? Did you maybe miss one and dodge back? This is where we are aware. Look back, turning slowly, slowly. Good. Complete circle. Come back to the ready. Slowly. Of the uh, salutation and everything are done slowly. This is an effort to get you to get your mind centered in the immediate now. Okay? And you know, Zen is just the centering in the now. I mean, you know, Buddhism is a very complicated philosophy. But that's essentially the underpinnings to, you know, so much Chinese culture and, I mean, excuse me, Japanese culture. And Chinese and Korean. Okay. The tea ceremony, calligraphy, as well as the art of the sword, the art of the empty hand, and the art of the fist and the foot. Okay, ready? Bow. <coughs> Slow. I'm going to use the 
analogy in class the other day. If you've ever seen a military funeral, you have seen this slow, deliberate movement. Shifting the weight. See right here? Wait should be on the right. Present the weapon. With it. Call back. Guard. The enemy's running towards you. He's got the sword. Step up, block. Cut, yell. Setting across the blocking formation, cutting. Put it here. Let's be captain. Oh, cut the shoulder off, too. Yeah. Man. All right. Second attack is coming from the same direction. Step up, block. Now, you choose to use the butt of the sword, so we flip it around. Thrust. And stand his butt even right behind you. And then cut the other guy's head off. So if you're ready, first attack, step back, block, cut. And it's, when you do the kata fairly quickly, you have to watch very closely to see if it's like block, cut. Oh, I'm going to the measure. And step back, block, cut. One more, block, cut. And step forward, block, cut. Step forward, block, cut. One more, step, block, cut. Draw yourself up to the ready. And next stance, block. Block above the head. No, no rush. Block above the head. Stand tight. Good, good. And ready. Go, turn, cut. <laughs> Slowly, move for other attackers. And back up. And ready. Sheep the weapon. Up. And back. Okay, adjust your distance as some of you guys will run in. That's in time to move forward, so. Over a bit this way, so you know. Just keep putting it. We kind of stagger somehow so you don't hit each other. Because with this, you've got to wear a karate. You, if this is karate class, you say, yeah, y'all part, half part. Think about it. You just added about three feet to your range. Okay. All right. <coughs> Ready? I'm going to lay your sword to... Thank you. Thank you for trying this. Good job tonight. All right, ready? Grass the weapon. Cut. One more block. Cut. 
going forward. Block cut. Block cut. Block cut. But ready. Mike put in the front. Okay. We'll work on this we'll homework if you want it. See how the white's here? That's just like the cat's there. This one's here, like the rug. We'll get in. This Saturday we'll get in more too. And the footwork's going to remind you a lot of karate. Well, there's only so many ways you can actually move, but footwork will remind you somewhat of that. Okay, ready? And accents. Guard the head. Oh, okay. Remember, we're essentially out here. So, we cut the hip. In my case, we cut the hip. And ready. Should be in the X stance at this point. So very good, very good, very good, very good. And go. Okay. Yes. Nice. Nice. Don't let over extend the elbows any closer. Good. And slowly back, slowly. Look, look. Remaining awareness. Slow. And come back ready. Sheep the weapon. Take your travel about this. He comes up. See how the leg comes back now, just a little forward. And okay, put your weapons down, check out your arms, drink water from my back. All right. We'll get in a few more repetitions tonight. Let's go ahead and break it down first. We'll drill on the individual movements. <laughs> Let us start <clears throat> from here. Okay. Now, once again, notice we want to be in a back stance. Karate students, y'all know what this looks like. 60, 75% of your weight back here. Now, we come up. Now, bring your elbows in. Your elbows should touch your body at this point. Now, as we're coming back, watch. Do extend a little bit here. Okay? But then as I'm cutting, see how the elbows came back in. Okay? Ready? And block. Now, work on that move when the elbows extend a bit on the initial strike. And see how I'm cutting by pulling the elbows in. <clears throat> Ready? And go. 
and back up. Lock and cut. And lock. And elbows are in tight. Now as they cut, they extend and then come back. Ready? Go. Good. One more. Ready? And go. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and step back. Told the anecdote that in feudal Japan, they used to kill left handed children at birth. Which is why Japanese mothers taught their children to be right hand. Here you go. <coughs> right hand is here, left hand is there. Okay. Now, from here, back foot is there like a rudder. Now we've got to go ahead and play tight for the block. <coughs> Plant here in the exhale. It's like your body is a coil, like a spring. Okay? It's wound tight. Look in the mirror, make sure you're covering the head. All right. First cut here. And we're extending the arms and we pull. Yeah. Ice. All right, ready? Come back to the on guard position. Ready position. Block. Ready? Feel that one. You're like a coil spray, a wound weapon. We bow at the first of the set of katas and we bow at the end. This one, the bow is integral and it's a new bow to us too. And it what sets your consciousness where it needs to be. So if you together. Bow. Slowly, slowly grasp what? Slowly pull it out. Now we see them, they're coming straight for you. This one. And step up, block. I'm getting close. I'm getting close to it. And now, as I miss, there's my head. 
It's like a bed over it off of that face. And step back, back, yell. Good. Second opponent. Step up, block. And butt stroke. Fingers are not on the blade. It's just there to guide. And behind you, step. And now, The first time I taught this class, I was surprised to remember he can really break the sweats when there was a piece of oak around. <laughs> it's the focus and the concentration of the You got lifting weights or what? Yes, sir. Well, and actually, no. No? No, just a lot of uh, calisthenics and body weights. Yeah. Good. 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 All right, I'm going to give minimal cues this time. Okay. Ready for us to see how good everybody looks. At the end of the six weeks, it'll be like a rank exam, but think of it more like a recital presentation. Because okay? by then, you will know this comment. And that's what kind of the last session will be, as well as demonstrations of look at it as one steps with the sword. Okay. Ready? And bow. Raise the weapon. Slowly. Cross, grasp, and sheath the sword. Slowly. Slowly. And put the other guard. All right, you see the opponent coming for you. Step back, guard. And go, cut, yell. <coughs> back to the other Step back. Yes, step back. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Step up, block again, step forward, and strike with the button sword, strike with the point behind you, decapitate. <coughs> we don't step back, just go across. Come to the on guard. Ready, and set block. Here. 
And block cut. Good. One more. Block cut. Going forward. Block cut. And block cut. And block cut. On guard. Not a, not a big powerful stance. Like a lot of stance on the cat. Next stance. Block. Cut L. Eight. Come back. Sun chin. Watch it. Watch it. Still aware. Still alert. And have a seat. Cross your legs. You can also meditate for Cezar. I did that for a year. One day you can't handle it anymore. I have to do the easy class. Cezar is like this. Your back is nice and straight. Sorry, these can't handle it. Again, this is like the city meditation we do, except I simply want you to look at the sword in no place else. Don't think about the sword. Just look at it. Think about only your breathing in and out. Okay? And I want you first to make sure you have a nice straight back. Now, let's practice one thing. It's a real cleansing breath in there. I want you to expand your abdomen as you inhale. Now, contract it. Again. One more. Now, keep the thumbs resting lightly together. Focus on the breath. You find yourself thinking of anything distracting. Let those thoughts slide. Thank you so much for trying to leave me tonight. I thoroughly enjoyed working with all of you. And I appreciate your attentiveness, your hard work, and your focus so much.